All right, welcome back to Good Day Austin. Tomorrow, if you need an excuse, who needs an excuse? Always get your family together and take a trip to the zoo. It's because it's National Zoo Lovers Day tomorrow. And we are celebrating a day early with a visit from Michael Hicks from the capital of Texas Zoo. Michael, we haven't seen you in... I know, forever. Since yeah. before COVID, yeah, know, yeah. Know, we're happy to be back. Are you yawning? Oh. Hey, we're you know. <laughs> One sleepy. So this is Kumo and Okami. Asian small clawed otters. Oh. This is the smallest and most social of the otter species. Okay. Kumo means cloud in Japanese. Okami means fierce spirit. Although I'm afraid we've changed his name to Chunky Butt these days. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to eat. How old are they? He likes to eat. How old are you, buddy? They're three and a half years old. Hi. They like they like meeting new people. Aww. Now you, um, you you've, you're holding them quite tightly, and that's for a reason because they're little little squiggle worms. <laughs> well, they are, and their their idea of something really fun is to get loose, and they would love nothing better than to destroy this whole uh, studio oh, really? here, and they okay. do it in about ten minutes. <laughs> okay. So I have to make sure that doesn't happen. You stay away from the weather no. center. They. Uh, they so do they live at the zoo? They live at the zoo, but I live on zoo grounds. At night, they still live with me. I raised oh. them from six weeks Aww. old. Oh, so I, you're I, Papa. What do I know? Papa. Oh. I have one room that's otter-proofed, and they are only allowed to be in that okay. room. <laughs> they eat a special kind of pelleted diet, and then they get some fresh fish every day. Uh, for special occasions, they each get a small frozen lobster tail. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's <laughs> fancy. What's this? Yeah. So this is... Um, this one is Chunky Butt. Chunky. Chunky butt. To me, they look just as different as children. Uh, and this is Kumo, the female. Now, these were raised together from their time they're babies, so they will never breed. Mm -hmm. So they have something called sibling inhibition. Yeah. So uh, we did recently acquire a new male, and Kumo is spending some time with the new male and some time with mm -hmm. Okami because we'd like to have some baby otters. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you. Um, I think when we think of otters, um, the, the, the layman here uh, thinks of them being in, in water. Well, these guys are land creatures? Well, they swim and hunt for food in the water, but they nest and sleep on land. Oh. They, the only one that lives its entire life in the water is the sea otter. Chucky okay. um, here is sleeping. Oh. <laughs> he was yawning earlier. I know. Very cute. <laughs> yeah, so they have nests and they, they travel a lot on land as well. They're not required to be in water all the time. Okay. So what else do you have at the zoo other than... Well, we're very excited about two new exhibits that will be finished June 1st. We've had somebody pay for a 19,000 square foot new exhibit for our Asiatic black bears. That's the largest in the country. And a 19,000 square foot new exhibit. No, you can't get down. <laughs> for our lions. And that will be the largest in the state and top five in the country. It's even bigger than Houston zoos, which for the last 20 years has been the biggest. And it's the uh, Sydney trout wine carnivore habitat. Oh, my gosh, the little noise. Dad, oh, yeah, that's like, come on, I want to get down. Let me down. <laughs> But they run they're, really fast. Oh, so yes, they're, and they're they get... very vocal, let me tell you. Oh, really? Oh, they're very vocal. Yeah, if I put them in their crate or left them here, oh, you'd hear about it through the whole building. <laughs> they don't want to be away from me when they're in a new place like yeah. this. Their whiskers are um, able to detect the slightest... Uh, um, What's the word I'm looking for when they're in the water? So they, that's how they hunt oh, in the dark. Oh, oh, okay. So if there's a, a fish, and once a week and occasionally I'll put a few live minnows into oh. their mm. uh, pool. Um, oh. Snails, <laughs> shrimp, anything like that. That's part of how they find it. Oh, yeah. Okay. For, for folks who do want to visit tomorrow for National Zoo Day. We um, are open. What do you all okay. do? Any fun activities? Uh, yes, there are a lot of things you can do. You can do animal encounters and, and feed our hippo tank. Ooh. Um, you can you can meet the otters. Um, you can meet the lemurs. <laughs> We've got a nice so petting zoo. Precious. So much love. So, yeah. I wish my dog would do that. Oh they talk to me, yes. Oh. Um, so we've got lots going on every day. We've yeah. got a new safari tram ride that we take oh. through the big two-acre <laughs> pen, and you go in, and all the animals want to come up and, and eat out of your hands. Mm -hmm. And we talk about our endangered species in there and our projects, that kind of thing, and that's brand new. So when you get back in your vehicle, do these guys go in, in a they, little they, kennel area? Yeah, they carry in a kennel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's no way I could let them be free while I'm driving. <laughs> that would not <laughs> work. That would be interesting. Let me yes. tell you. <laughs> that's great. Um, what's the website for our viewers so they can Cap 
capital at texaszoo.org. We also have a Facebook page, okay. and we're open 9 to 5 every day, weather permitting. Okay. We're not open today, but yeah, we're open tomorrow. Okay, okay. Well, cool. Thanks so much for It was great seeing you again. Yes. Yeah, it was good to see yeah, you guys. It's been a while. I know. I know. Come back and bring, yeah. bring us some more little babies. We will. For sure. yeah. This All is right. the baby season. This. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much, Michael, and thank you. We'll be right back.